So the second part of this is where I have one glove. <laughs> <laughs> so the second hold on, hold on, I look like Jesus over here. Hold on. <laughs> We have finally reached the point in our solar shed where we've got to start putting in spots for electrical boxes. Yes. So the whole cleat thing that we talked about a while ago to support the door frame, we're going to modify those and use them to mount electrical boxes to them. It's a very exciting day. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> if you hear panting, it's the dog. <laughs> this is how we think we're going to do it. Things change, but mm. for now, this is our plan. So the idea is that we'll have our cleats, but we take the two by four and flip it over so that we can mount this box um, onto it. And so this will be an interior plug and that way we can run the Romex in through one side, connect it to the plug and then out through the other side and daisy chain it to the next one. Now the exterior ones are a little more complicated. Why are you staring at me? <laughs> I like hearing you talk. No. The, day, the, 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 the exterior ones have to go all the way through the bag. So we got these exterior boxes with a, a PVC connection and then a three quarter inch conduit through the back. And we were going to do this. We were going to take our regular cleats and drill a hole, stick it through. But then we found this problem. And then there's nothing supporting this and the bag would just get smashed down on it. Smash, smash, smash. <laughs> Smashy smash, and that's no good. So smashing's not good, babe. So we <laughs> smashing's great. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We may just lay this right on the bag and then actually screw it right into the earth bag. I don't know. That doesn't sound like a good idea to me. <laughs> that was your idea. So you're saying my idea is not good. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> I think your idea is bad. What's my? I don't even have an idea. I, know. I don't know what to well, do. Well, that was your idea, and it's bad. It was, that was my idea. And yeah. it's real bad. Could you flip it upside down? No. No, you couldn't. Could you? It runs into the bag that way. Mm. It's like it's like Tetris. It, it's very, look, it's just like Tetris. It's not. See? Okay, let's talk a little bit. Flip the piece. Okay, anyway, sorry. Um, mm. I think what we need to do is just lay this directly on there because once this is actually glued, glued and, in there, yeah. it's not going to move. We can get two really long screws that go into the bag, and it's not going to go anywhere. I'm just worried that, like... And plus, the cob will be up all over it. Because that's going to have a big weatherproof cover on it. Yeah, but it goes on the front, so... Right, but I'm just imagining a dog or somebody grabbing that cover and being like, and like pulling it out. Babe, our dogs would never... They totally would. They totally did that to our water pump switch already. They would never do that. With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear with you I want to stay with you with you I love the way that you love me today let's run It just needs to be very robust. That's the only thing. It is it's robust. Once this is glued, 
and drilled into a bag with like a four inch, five inch screw. I wonder if you could like, cause I'm worried about it coming out, right? I'm not worried about it moving left right. Come out. Could you well, like we could strap do, it? Like, yeah, we could strapping? do, we could do the plumbing strap and screw that into the bag. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. But honestly, once that weight is on there, I don't think it's gonna move. It could though, because this is it could just slide right out. Really, there's nothing holding this. We aren't we don't have a cap or anything on the end of this, and you could just it's very slick, so you could just pull the thing right out. <laughs> it would it would come out though, I think. If you if you like grab that that huge thing on the front and you pulled Okay, well, what could we put on the inside to anchor it? Could you take oh, this I have an idea. and drill a hole? I have a bad idea. Uh, I, what? I have a bad idea. Okay. What if... Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we don't know what we're doing for the exterior ones, but we could go ahead and get the interior ones built. All right. Why don't we do that? And then we'll come back. Okay. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go build some cleats. That one may end up being higher, but that's okay. We'll just put it there for now. We've made some modifications to our plans. Initially, we were going to have all the lithium batteries and the inverter and stuff against the back wall. But the more we thought about it, we don't want to be listening to all that fan noise all the time. So I think we're going to put all that stuff here in the corner. We'll probably put in some walls here and we'll just attach everything to it. And then the back wall, I think we're going to turn that into an additional desk for the kids. And then the freezer situation, because we really wanted to have a deep freeze, we're actually going to put that outside under an overhang on the back side of the wall. Maybe. Maybe. What do you mean maybe? Well, we don't know for sure yet. Oh, we're totally doing it. And then that way that gives us more space inside without having to worry about being too close to all the power stuff um, and having to fit a freezer inside. So in addition to the six inside outlets we're also going to have three exterior outlets two on the back wall so we can put hopefully multiple freezers full of meat back there and then we'll have one on the front here in case we're working and we want to like plug up a welder or something like really high power that way we have easy access to that Check it out. So the second part of this is where I have one glove. <laughs> so the second hold on, hold on, I look like Jesus over here. <laughs> okay, so the the next part of this is where are our solar wires going to come in, and and we know that part. <laughs> we just don't know how they're going to come in. Yeah. Well, yeah, like we talked about, they were going to be on the back wall back there, right? right. Um, and we've changed that plan because we decided we we're gonna put all the gear up here. So now it's gotta come in. It's gonna come in on this corner. On this wall here, yeah. yeah. The short wall. Yeah. Uh, but the question is, cause we we don't wanna to try to dig under because we already have our, our rubble trench and like all that foundation and we don't wanna dig through there. So we're probably gonna bury a line from where the solar panels are. And going they're, to be. <laughs> are going to be. And we will, have conduit that runs up into like a, a box on the outside, a junction box, right? We're still trying to figure out what size tube to put through that bag. We're gonna have a tube that lays 
on top of this bag and then there'll be bags over it up higher though probably. So, yeah up higher to well, probably like here ish yeah. right yeah. to where the solar wires will just go right into the wall right mm -hmm. yeah so we're trying to decide how big that yeah. tube needs to be the other wrinkle is that this building will power our house and so we're going to have to come out of this building again and go underground and run back over that way somewhere. So is that going to come out at the same spot? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I assume it would. Maybe. Uh, that's what we haven't figured out is like how we're coming into it with the solar panel. Also, how many wires. We and don't know how many wires yet. We have to decide where our house is going to be. Yeah, this is we getting, have a general idea. This is getting, this is making us make a lot of, of decisions and I don't like Hasty it. Hasty decisions. I don't like it at all. Uh, yeah, and oh, and the other wrinkle to think about is that what if we want to run a wire down to the Airstream to power it so that we can well, run the air conditioner in the summer, then that would be another wire that has to come out of, of the inside of this building underground and then go all the way somewhere. We're going to start like crisscrossing wires if we're not careful. Yeah, we're going to have to really pay attention to that. <laughs> yeah. Also, what oh. we're thinking about is venting. Right? Oh, venting. Yeah. yeah. So we're trying to decide. Some people do a lower intake vent and then up high do an outtake vent. So basically, it's just like sort of circulating through the building and coming out at the top, right. obviously, because hot air rises. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So um, we're trying to decide on that because if we do that, it can't be too low. There's lots of little critters that could get in. I don't want to wake up in the morning Scorpions. and have a tarantula in my bed. That yeah. would not be nice. Scorpion <laughs> snakes. Um, so we're, we're trying to figure out the screen situation for the venting. There's so many things you have to think about beforehand that I did. I just think, oh, let's just build yeah. a building. Well, it's 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 weird too because most buildings like this, you would just have power coming into the building, and then you could run it all inside, and it would be really easy. But in this situation, this building is the power source, so yeah. it, it's going to have solar wires coming into it, and then it's going to have power going to the interior outlets, and then to exterior outlets. So it has to go back through the and wall, and then to the house, and then to the house, and then yeah, to and so, but, yeah. to the RV and. Yeah. <laughs> So many things. <laughs> okay, so we need your help. Three things. Number one, ideas for the exterior plugs and running that PVC through. Number two, what have you all done for running solar wires in in a way other than going underground, like some sort of sealed junction box that would attach to the outside of the building? And same thing for power going out. Um, can those be the same box? Should they be different? I know there's like... You should have a way to shut off the, the power from the solar wires before it even goes in. And you might need a lightning suppressor device. Bah, there's so many things. So we would love to get your feedback. If you've done this before, we'd love to talk to you. So let us know. Thanks. We love Thanks. you. Maybe next video, it's a silent video. Give us a thumbs up if you're tired of listening to Jonathan talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so nice of you. I Thanks. <laughs> But you do talk a lot. Uh, that's it for this week. Just, just we'll smile. See you next time. No, just smile, and it will end.